Hi guys and welcome to my video. I'm just doing a quick one today on how to make my overnight hand cream. I'm going to try and keep it as short as possible and I know the light's not very good on this today. It's actually snowing outside at the moment but we'll give it a go and I'll try not to trip over my tripod today. So really quite simple, not many ingredients and fairly basic ingredients and you can vary it up and vary the um, amount of hand cream you're actually making because I do it on ratio rather than exact measurements. So I've got um, some, the light's really bad, we've got some shea butter, Let's see if it'll focus on that, some shea butter, and a uh, witch hazel, we've got uh, jojoba oil, that's not going to focus, there we are, um, cocoa butter, uh, whatever fragrance you want um, in the form of essential oils or you can leave it on the fragrance I am going to be using um, tuba rose this time um, a bit of beeswax you don't I don't know if you could you could possibly make it without the beeswax but I'm not sure I've not tried it so just um, be wary of that something to put your cream in something to measure with a grater for the beeswax and a whisk to whisk up the lotion or ointment. First thing I'm going to do is put all of the hard ingredients into um, a dish. Although you could, it depends how you, what I'm going to do is melt the hard ingredients. So if you were going to melt them in a double boiler, obviously you would put them into a double boiler. If you only have a stove, you could put them into um, a stainless steel pan and gently heat them on the stove so they're just melted. I've got the wood burner on today, it's really hot, so I'm just gonna put um, a Pyrex dish on the top, somewhere obviously not too hot, just until it's melted. And I'm just gonna put all the hard ingredients in here for now to be melted first. So first of all, I'm gonna take my beeswax, and what I'm gonna go for is half a tablespoon of this beeswax, but I'm winging it, so I'm gonna grate a bit in and roughly measure it with my spoon. should be about right now I'm going to have um, I'll just check in my list uh, a tablespoon of or twice as much as your beeswax of cocoa butter It's just the shea butter that's still like a hard oil and I'm going to put three tablespoons of shea butter in here it doesn't have to be exact it's just kind of roughly now I'm going to go put those to melt and then I'll come back when those are melted and we'll do the next part. Okay, that's nice and melted now. So I'm going to add a tablespoon of jojoba oil. tablespoon of witch hazel, distilled witch hazel. I know this is going to seem really odd, but it will work. And then I'm going to add some essential oil and I'm just going to, I don't know, just pour a load in. Probably about 30 drops in there, but I'm just guessing. I'm 
Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my whisk and I'm going to whisk this as it cools and it'll thicken kind of like mayonnaise initially. And when it gets to that point, I can then start to think about putting it in my pot. Starting to go. Okay, I've got it to the point where it's like thick whipped cream. So now I'm going to spoon it into my pot. And there we go, it's in the pot. I could have doubled up and made a full pot's worth. I also probably could have stopped whisking a little earlier, but I wasn't sure. And with the video and it was a bit tricky, but I could have stopped around maybe the texture of, of mayonnaise and been able to pour it in a little easier, but it doesn't matter. That just means I have it all over my hands as well now. But there we go, really, really easy. It takes, it'll probably whisk for maybe five or 10 minutes. And, and I did stand the bowl on top of my chest freezer to help it cool down a little bit. So it would probably have took a bit longer if I hadn't done that. But otherwise, really easy, really simple. So I hope that was helpful. This is the hand cream I use overnight. Um, at the moment, I'm using a day cream from Lush. I haven't perfected a, a recipe for a day cream that isn't too oily to then go off and do things like spinning and what have you. But this is what I use at night. This is what I put on before I go to bed. It's nice and rich without being too oily um, and too sticky. Well, there we go. See you next time. Mm -hmm.